Hello guys, Lincoln here and today we're going to discuss Voss, the royal one, a vampire supporter that's truly fantastic and in my opinion the best rare hero out there. So if you don't know what to spend your precious catacomb coins at, I would recommend to spend them on her because it would be worth it. And in the same way, if you don't know what to use your keys at, I guess you will save your keys for Saturdays and Sundays as that, that's the days you will actually be getting those epic fragments. But besides that, the other days, the other weekdays, uh, you can get Voss at Wednesdays and Thursdays. And, um, uh, well, for one reason, um, in a team there's a lot of times you will actually be needing two healers, two supporters, and she will be doing a good job standing in the back using her uh, loyal subject ability that is passive that heals uh, every affected ally by 2% of the max health every second and this can actually increase when it's at max level it will be 3% but that's not her best ability it's this one the pact of undying so at level 1 this gives her entire group 40% of the damage they do they will receive back so it's a lifesteal ability and when it's maxed she can get up to 50% on the entire team this gives you the possibility to basically have four strong dpsers damage makers who can keep themselves alive with her uh, and one of the reasons she is also so truly great is if you look at my team i have a lot of level 80 heroes and she's only level 63 and she's actually in my main team and she actually doesn't have to be that high she could actually even be lower because when she gets uh, upgraded she will get higher stats but those stats won't affect pact of undying pact of undying can only get stronger with uh, the lunar lunar emblems to increase the ability itself but it doesn't matter if you have uh, weak stats or not, she will still give her entire team at least 40% of the lifesteal. So that's fantastic. The only reason you want basically to upgrade her more is to make her survive, better, uh, survive easier, get more health and such. But she will do fine at lower level and since she's in the back, she usually is one of the last to die anyway. So you don't have to have her at high level and she will still be really strong. So go for this girl, she is fantastic. Uh, and once you get to uh, a 6 star, there's a new ability she will get. And that actually, once one of her teammates dies, they can uh, transform into a pack of bats with 20% uh, health of their previous health and 80% of their attack power. And uh, this stacks and can go up to, well, it can increase up to 35% of the health and 135% of the attack power. And com combining her with someone like, for example, Grimr, where is he? Here, at six star who can, uh, once he dies, he actually resurrect. Uh, I haven't tried this since my boss isn't at 6 star yet, but in theory, he should die, this guy Grim should die, then she, he should uh, turn into a pack of bats, and then he will resurrect, and you will have one more team teammate who can, will help you do more damage. So it's a nice combination using Grim and boss. <clears throat> 